In this video, I will show you how you verify Stephen's law using electrical method. In this experiment, you have a voltage source of 12 volt, 0 to 12 volt. That means you can uh, change the voltage or increase the voltage from 0 to 12 volt. This is your voltage source. And you have a voltmeter which is connected in parallel to the circuit this is the voltmeter connected in parallel and you have a milliameter which is connected in series to the circuit and you have a bulb 12 volt bulb as shown to you which is connected in series to the circuit so you first switch on the circuit uh, then you increase the voltage when you increase the voltage, the ball will glow. The DC ball, you see, when you increase the voltage, I am increasing the voltage. The current is not increasing. There, is, there must be a fault. You see the ball, it is not connected. You see, uh, I am increasing the voltage, the current is increasing and the bulb is glowing, you see, the bulb is glowing and uh, you have to measure the voltage and the corresponding current to find out the, uh, to pr prove the Stephen's law, in this experiment only you have to find out the voltage and the corresponding current and why by measuring the voltage and current, you can prove the Stephen's law. I will show you in theory. So, the base in the experiment, you only measure the voltage and the corresponding current. When we increase the voltage, you will see that the ball will glow. That means more heat will be produced by the in the filament of the bulb from stephen's law we know that the heat energy radiated by a body is given by the formula h is equal to a e sigma t to the power 4 here is the emissivity of the body Sigma is your Stephen's constant, A is the area, area of the body and T is the absolute temperature. And we have to prove this Stephen's law by using electrical method. The amount of heat energy which we generally produced in this experiment by heating a 12 volt electric bulb, that means we can determine the heat energy radiated by the body that is the 12 volt electric bulb in terms of electric power because you know electric power can be calculated from the product of voltage and current. So P equal to V into I that is why we can write Stephen's law in terms of electric power that means in place of uh, heat we can use the term power which is equal to A E sigma T to the power 4. So these are all constants, area, emissivity, Stephen's constant, all these are constants. So P will be equal to a constant suppose say mu into T to the power 4. And if you take the logarithm on both the sides, you will get log P will be equal to mu times multiplied by 4 into log T. Suppose this is equation number 1. Again, the resistance of the tungsten filament which is inside the bulb, uh, electric bulb, that is proportional to the temperature. If you increase the temperature, the resistance also increases. So, resistance will be equal to mu times T. Here, we have used same constant as you have used in uh, equation number 1 because the material is same. So, Taking logarithm on both the sides of this equation, you get log r is equal to mu into log t. So, you, if you uh, compare equation 1 and 2, that is by simple division, log p divided by log r, 
यू विल गेट यू फोर लॉग पी डिवाइड बाय लॉग आर विल बी इक्वल टू फोर सो इफ यू प्लॉट ए ग्राफ टेकिंग लॉग आर एलॉन्ग एक्स एक्सिस एंड लॉग पी एलॉन्ग वाई एक्सिस देन द ग्राफ विल बी ए स्ट्रेट लाइन लाइक दिस इफ यू प्लॉट द ग्राफ टेकिंग लॉग आर एलॉन्ग एक्स एक्सिस एंड लॉग पी एलॉन्ग वाई एक्सिस दिस विल बी ए स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड द स्लोप ऑफ द ग्राफ इफ द स्लोप ऑफ द ग्राफ इज क्लोज टू द वैल्यू फोर देन स्टीफेंस लॉ इज वेरीफाइड सो वॉट यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट from the experiment you have to find out the filament voltage filament voltage v in volt and the filament current uh, here you have taken in terms of milliampere and you con- convert into ampere and if you multiply voltage and current you will uh, you will get power and uh, you can find out the logarithm of this power which will give you log p similarly you find out the resistance if you divide the voltage by current by simply applying your ohms law then you can find out the filament resistance r then you can calculate log r so in this way you can find out log p and log r and you plot the graph taking log r along x axis and log p along y axis and from the slope that is log p divided by log r if the value will be close to 4 then your stefan's law is verified by using electrical method and to find out the stefan's constant value of the stefan's constant you have to break the bulb and uh, after breaking the bulb uh, you, you, you can measure the area of the filament and the emissivity of the tungsten it is a very known quantity and uh, the temperature you can measure the you can find out the temperature from the resistance then you can calculate the value of sigma and that is the stefan's constant so it is not uh, easy to find out sigma or stefan's constant by using electrical method so in the experiment or in the examination it will be easier to show you the verification of stefan's law using electrical method Thank you.